So, no time machine, huh? Well, at least we have Ryan Davis. You're kind of like Marty McFly, right? Very much so, Jeff. You reviewed Serious Sam Next Encounter for the GameCube and PlayStation 2. Uh-huh. Uh, was this game made by Crow Team, the same guys who did the fully China PC version? No, it's not. It's made by Climax, who haven't really done any sort of China-esque uh, first-person shooters before. Yeah. It's okay. That's cool. So, uh, you want to hear the ringtone? Dude, I, since lunch, when you played, when we were talking about your crazy in love ringtone, I, that has been playing through my head over and over again. So just play it just so I can get that out of my system. No fat. It's just that, that it's part. Just these four bars. No Jay-Z. No Jay-Z. Just the part of the song that you like. You know, I'll tell you, Jeff, I'm having more fun listening to Crazy in Love on your phone than I had playing Serious Sam. Really? Well, uh, what final score would you give the Crazy in Love ringtone and why? Um, the Crazy in Love ringtone, I would easily give a 10. Uh-huh. Uh, Serious Sam Next Encounter, I gave a 6.5. Okay. Why? Uh, because Crazy in Love is a great song, and just getting those four bars is really awesome. Serious Sam Next Encounter is a game that uh, is pretty simple and doesn't really have a lot to offer as far as value, uh, but the core components are still pretty good. So you ready for E3? Not at all, Jeff. Now Rich Gallup is gonna run down the games we're most looking forward to seeing at E3 with Now Playing. But in the meantime, here's more of this.